Hey guys, it's Kimberly and today we have a bonus video so I'm super excited to share that with you guys. You know that when I get new items, when things get released and I receive them, I like to be as timely as I can and get it out to you guys as soon as possible because of course you want to see it and you want to know for yourself in case you might want to order something. So. I just got in the new Jeffree Star Velvet Trap lipsticks, and I'm very, very excited about them. Now, before I dive into it, I didn't get all of the colors, because I just don't feel like I need them all, um, but I will say that I had Liam, my boyfriend, order five different shades, which are these five right here, with the Jeffree Star mystery boxes, which if you didn't see that video, I'll go over and check it out. I just up uploaded it yesterday. Um, so he uh, bought me these five because I was at work. And then about an hour after the launch, I had a break at work and I was like, oh, I'm going to go on the website and see how much sold out. And literally not a single thing was sold out yet. So I picked up, I want to say another like five shades or so that I had my eye on. I wasn't convinced, but I was like, oh, it's fate. If they're still there, I'll pick them up. And so I did, but that package, like, just shipped. And I already have these. So I am just going to film these because I do not want to wait, like, another week to film the video altogether because I feel like by that point, it might not be as interesting. So I'm going to film these five shades. And then if you guys want to see a part two to this video where I film the next five shades, I will absolutely do that because I'm going to do lip swatches for you guys of all five. And I personally love to see lip swatches. Um, I don't know. I just feel like that's the best way for me to personally see whether I think I'm going to like a lipstick or not is to see it on somebody's actual mouth. So if you want to see me do that with another five shades when they come in, let me know and I will absolutely film it. So without it further ado, let's get into this. So these are the brand new lipsticks. I believe they're $18 a piece, which is what most of his lip products are. And they come in this pretty cool packaging. It says velvet trap, and then it's got like a little like bear trap on it. And you know, all of his stuff and his little, uh, the nameplate. And it's interesting because it like slides open like that, which is cool. But I will say, I don't know if my camera is going to pick it up, but mine came in like pretty dirty looking. Okay, my fam camera just fell a little bit. If the frame looks totally different, sorry, but is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is super dirty. This like name tag it's not focusing. This like name sticker here is just like a clear sticker with the shade on it. And under the sticker is just like so many like fuzzies and like it just looks gross. So that's kind of upsetting because I feel like his packaging, he puts a lot of effort into the packaging and the brand's kind of known for that. And then to see like a dirty sticker is like, ugh, but whatever. So super cool packaging that it slips up like this. It has the labels on it, and then it is just this like matte pink bullet, and it is just so cool. It has the um, J Star logo impressed on it, and then it's like a matte bullet, and then there's letters. It says Jeffree Star Cosmetics in like shiny pink. So super cool. I got five shades. I got Naked Body, Honey Suck Me, Watermelon Soda, Unicorn Blood, and Pure Hell. So yeah, let's just let's just get into it. I'm gonna try and go from like light to dark just in case there's like staining going on on the lips. So we're gonna start with Naked Body. I have not put any of these on my mouth. So super excited about that. The only thing is uh, this one specifically, if it looks a little weird, I did swatch it a little bit on the back of my hands because I could not like handle myself, but the rest of them, I have not touched or swatched and I haven't put any of them on my actual lips yet. So when you spin it up, I don't know if you can tell, but there are like the J star logos impressed in the whole thing. And it's almost like frosted looking the lipsticks. They are, they do look like velvety, which is almost like a little weird and unsettling to me because I feel like a cream product. I know it's not, and I don't want to like spread rumors because it's not. I know it's not moldy, but that kind of frosted dry look on something that's supposed to be a cream 
makes my mind kind of like go there and think that way. And so it kind of grosses me out a little bit. But I don't need to look at it. I just need to put it on my mouth. So this is the shade Naked Body and I will swatch it on my wrist, but then we will also put it on my mouth. So that is the shade right there. It looks actually stunning and I'm so excited. So let's put this on. Oh my gosh, I love that color. I feel like this is like the your lips but better kind of color. Ooh, this might be my new favorite lipstick. Whoa, okay, so let's talk about it. I thought that these, ooh, and they're magnet closures. Okay, sorry, that distracted me. That's so exciting. Anyway, because they're velvet, I thought they were gonna be very matte and very, very dry, and they're not. It is super creamy and glides on really creamy which is nice and I feel like it has good coverage of course this color is very similar to my natural lips so as we get into some of the darker colors I think that that will be easier to tell whether how like the coverage and that kind of a thing but it's very very pretty I mean I didn't go over it I don't know maybe I went back once or twice on my wrist and it's very pigmented I really like it it's very it smells sweet not overpowering, not crazy, and it's very soft on the lips and creamy. I did exfoliate my lips and moisturize before the hand, so there is that. I wanted to give the best, I don't know, look to it, but here we go. Actually, let me zoom in so you can see it even better. So that is the lip right there. And in case you guys are curious, I'm wearing brand new lashes. These are D-Star D lashes in the style Sabrina. They are part of their new Halloween limited edition coven collection which i believe is only available up until halloween so if you want them go grab them but super cute love them first time i'm wearing them super excited about it but yeah i love this color so let me wipe it off and let's move on you can see my lips are like i don't think they're stained from that i just think that they are my skin and stuff is kind of sensitive so i just think from rubbing with the makeup remover made them a little pink so the next shade we have right here is Honey Suck Me, and it is like a really fun color. I don't know how much I would wear this by itself, we'll have to try it on and see how it looks, but I thought that this would be really pretty on like the center of the lips to add like that pouty light effect. So let's swatch it on the arm. Yeah, look at that. That is a bright pink. That is funky. I feel like I don't have a color like that. And again, super creamy, super pigmented, and I didn't have to really build it up at all it just is what it is so that's pretty exciting let's put it on whoa <laughs> I'm sorry I can't even take myself seriously with my blue hair and this color lips I feel crazy and not in a good way okay but again, I didn't really think that this is going to be a color I would wear on its own. I kind of figured that this would be a color that I'd put in the center of the lips to lighten it up, specifically with the color I'm going to show you next. But here it is. This is what it looks like on the lips. And yeah, it is... I feel like I could see myself wearing it if I was going to be like Barbie for Halloween or something like that. It is definitely like Barbie pink. But it is... It's pretty, I mean, and for such a pigmented light pink color, I mean, I'm getting full coverage and it's very comfortable on the lips and it looks nice. It's just not, it's not my shade, but that's all right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so moving on to the next lipstick, we have Watermelon Soda right here. Oh my gosh, that is, you know, when you see things online, sometimes they look a lot different than what they look like in person, you know? And, um... Again, I don't really know if this is my color, but I don't know. It's also nice though to have, I feel like I have a gazillion of the exact same shade lipstick because that's what I like, but it's nice to have a variety. But my thought process was that I could wear watermelon soda with the honey suck me in the center as like a pout kind of ombre lip. And I do think these two colors would look great together. The question is, will they look great together on me? Mm questionable let's just do one swipe to see what we get yeah see that's pretty good with one swipe 
super creamy, super pigmented, and I'm, I'm like digging it. Let's put it on. Now this is crazy looking. Again, I think though, like the blue hair is throwing it off a little bit because if you had like regular colored hair, things don't look as crazy, you know? But I feel intense, <laughs> but that's okay. I still like it. And I'm just not really like a pink lipstick kind of girl, but it is really pretty and very, very pigmented. And it's not patchy at all. It's total full coverage. I really like enjoy the formula of it. So far, I feel like they're really nice lipsticks. I just don't know if like, this is like serious cotton candy vibes. That's what it is. But you know what? Uh, just for giggles, since we already have this on and my I original idea was to put Honey Suck Me in the middle of this, let's just do it. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if you are into the ombre lip situation, I feel like these two shades are super compatible with each other. And yeah, they're honestly like so similar that it looks very like seamless in my opinion, but because they are really creamy, I will say that when I was layering Honey Suck Me over top, I did feel like I had to do the bottom lip and then wipe this lipstick off and then do the top lip because I did pick up a lot of the darker lipstick onto this one, which I mean isn't like, it's not avoidable. That's like something that happens, but they're just so creamy that it was kind of a little bit difficult to layer them. It, it just kind of like mushed around and mixed together, but I like the idea and I think if my hair wasn't blue, I would like it even more. Like if I had like dark brown hair, I feel like it'd be fun. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. So I definitely think we have some staining with that one, but that's as to be expected. And next we have the shade Unicorn Blood. Oh, so pretty. And let's give a little swatch that is gorgeous. And let's put it on. Oh my God, I'm in love with this color. This is so gorgeous, so pretty. I feel like it's perfect for fall. It is a beautiful blood shade and I am like <gasps> living for this. <gasps> Ooh, too bad we wear masks everywhere. You can't see my lips anymore. I feel like lipstick is one of my favorites, but nowadays it just feels like such a waste, but mm, I still love it. All right, we have one more. Let's put it on. There is definitely definitely staining with that one and I literally only had it on for a minute 45 seconds crazy but that was a really dark shade so I expect it and that's okay because we are going to cover it up with this last lipstick right here and this is the lipstick pure hell so it is a black lipstick and you guys know if you watch me I love black lipstick okay I will say with one swatch not as pigmented as the others yeah, that one I feel like you have to build up a little bit. Black, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so there is Pure Hell. I'm not gonna lie, this is my least favorite of the bunch. It is the least pigmented out of all of them, which is interesting because it's black. Um, and I will say dark shades usually are the more patchy of the shades and it's not patchy, it's just sheer. You have to keep going over to build it up. And even when you build it up, I feel like I can still kind of see through it a little bit, but it's not patchy, it's evenly sheer, which is interesting. But I will say, I feel like it would be nice to put over like a liquid lip, like a black liquid lip just to if you like that creamy lipstick texture i still like it and with a lip liner i'm sure it would look awesome but kind of disappointed with that one out of the most i feel like that is my least favorite and my favorite is naked body and unicorn blood those two lipsticks are gorgeous but honestly they're all super beautiful and the creamy texture of them 
is phenomenal. I'm super impressed and super excited about it, and I can't wait to get in my next I think five shades that I ordered. So again, if you guys want to see me do a part two to this video with the next five shades when they come in, just let me know in the comments below and I will absolutely be doing that. And if you haven't seen my mystery box unboxing from Jeffree Star, then go check that video out. And yeah, I'm so excited to be able to give you guys a bonus video this week. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.